In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to flash the firmware on a legacy panel that may have been migrated over to the Motorola Solutions Access Control Manager uh, from a legacy access control system. Um, so you have an authentic Mercury panel that maybe was on uh, some other access control system and now you want to bring it into ACM. So I'm going to start by signing into ACM. You'll notice within the UI there's a section called Physical Access. You'll go to the Panel section and you import or add your panel to the system. There is a separate tutorial that walks you through how to add a panel to ACM. So I'm not going to show how to add a panel. I'm really focusing this tutorial on how to flash the firmware. So I'm going to pick this LP1502. You'll notice that my LP1502 is online. It's already communicating and set up. I've done my configuration. I've set my host IP address. So it is online and communicating with uh, ACM. So if this was a legacy panel that came over from an access control system, the message in this window might say something like panel ID mismatch or some message in here that sounds rather negative. Uh, so to get this to flash over to the latest firmware for ACM, you simply go to this middle section where it says firmware, find the appropriate firmware for your panel. This is my LP1502 down here, 130.2. Hit the green check mark. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to apply this firmware? You say, okay. It says firmware update command sent. Go back to the status page. You're going to see that there'll be a message in the window that says firmware download in progress. Firmware downloads can take a minute to three minutes to complete. When they are complete, your error messages that were in that window should go away. And you should see your latest firmware to 1.30.2 in my case, uh, or whatever firmware you applied. Understand that there's no need to go out to the panel to, to push a firmware upload uh, to a panel. So you don't have to do anything at the panel level. It's all done through the UI and then comes online as a normal panel under ACM with the latest firmware.